What is up, this is SMO27, and today I'm going to teach you how to extend the battery life of your PS Vita. So first of all, what you will do is go to Network. Well, in order to extend the battery life of your PS Vita, first of all, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth both use up charge very quickly. So if you go to Network, and go to Wi-Fi settings and turn Wi-Fi off, you'll see that it won't connect to any networks. <clears throat> and also go to Bluetooth too, Bluetooth devices. And you can see the Bluetooth feature is turned off. Because like, if Bluetooth feature is turned on, it'll basically keep searching even if you aren't connected to anything. And that's going to impact the battery life. And you can also turn on airplane mode too. Or flight mode. That's what it's called. To disable both. So now according to this, it disables all the network features of the system. Such as like Wi-Fi or Bluetooth. So it could also, use, so it could also like turn this off in places. Turn this on in places. Or the use of it, or the use of devices like, like the PS Vita that generate radio waves, waves is prohibited, such as like on an airplane. But since this is a tutorial, I'm just gonna turn this off, and turn Wi-Fi back on, but leave Bluetooth off. <clears throat> okay, the second way right here is like closing some apps that you are using as you can see there's only one app running on the PS Vita in that settings so now I can see over there that there's no apps running and the PS Store also sends updates a lot so that's basically going to be constantly draining the battery life of the PS Vita if you leave that open because in order for the PS Vita to like send out updates it needs to drain and it requires a lot of battery life at the PS App Store. And the third way of saving battery life is by adjusting the brightness. Now, the, now one way you could access the brightness is by going is by pressing and holding the PS button, like I'm about to do right now. And you'll see the quick menu pops up, and there's brightness. You can see that's turned all the way up. <laughs> You just slide it to the left in order to extend the battery life. <clears throat> yeah, but since I'm going to be draining the battery because it's been a while since I've drained this battery, I'm going to keep it all the way up. Now I'm going to get to that in a moment. The other way to go to brightness, you might already know, but I'm going to explain it anyways, is to go to settings and tap on the sound and display and go to brightness and you could slide the brightness there and now the fourth way you might have already done this but i'm going to explain it to you anyway is by unchecking the system music because system music is constantly draining the battery life so if you don't really like the music in the system if you don't really like the system in the main the music in the main menu you could just turn it off, and plus it'll drain the battery life. Because, like, think about this. Even if you like the music there, turning it off will... Keeping it constantly on will drain the battery life. So if you turn it off, your battery will thank you. But I'm gonna turn it back on. And the other way... Is by adjusting the volume, because the volume affects the battery life. You could just press down over here because just having it up to the max is basically draining the battery life or right here on sound and display you could tap AVLS which limits the maximum volume and you can see that it cannot be turned up any further which will extend the battery life 
and prevent you from blowing your ears out. Or you could also use headphones too. Headphones such as like wireless headphones. I'll just pair them at the moment. Okay. See right here, the Bluetooth devices, you could turn Bluetooth on. You can use any type of headphones, such as wireless headphones. And then you'll see it says Powerbeats 3. Yes. And now you'll hear that nothing is coming out from the device, because I'm the only one that could hear it. But I'm just going to delete this. Okay. I'm just going to delete this. And turn it off. Now the next way... Is by... Is by changing the location data. Well, for location data, you could turn it off for all of these. Because, like, location data is constantly draining the battery life if you don't really want it. Because you'll allow the use of location data in the selected application. So this is basically draining the battery life of the PS Vita. And the next way... is by adjusting the standby time. So go to power save settings. Now I have it set to one minute as the shortest length of time to, to lengthen the battery life. And you should also make sure that use Wi-Fi and power save mode is turned off. Because like, if you're using Wi-Fi in power save mode, it's going to be constantly draining the battery. <clears throat> and the other way is by, of course, getting a portable charger. Like, you can use the one that Sony, you can use the one that Sony sells. The one that Sony sells is 5000 mAh. But I don't have a portable charger that, show, that has, a. Uh, for the PS Vita, but you could use one of these. This one is from PNY, and this is 28.86 watt hours, but I'm routing it up to 29 watt hours, so this is roughly a 29 watt hour battery or power bank, which translates to 7800 mAh, or roughly 8000 mAh. So what you'll do is you'll take the cable, plug it into the portable charger, and while you're on the go, you could just plug this in. And you'll see that it shows that it's charging. It's at 42% at the moment. And this one is 8000 mAh. But the one that's for the PS Vita, the one that Sony sells, is 5000 mAh which can charge the PS Vita about four times. It basically charges it about four times. But this one right here, this is 8000 mAh, is actually able to charge the PS Vita somewhere between 6.5 and 7 times. And once the power bank runs empty, it charges through the micro USB to charge it back up. Whereas with the PS Vita portable charger, it charges with the same cable that the PS Vita uses. And then of course the next way, the last way is by constantly draining the battery from, well not constantly, draining the battery from time to time. And by that I mean draining the battery once every month. So what you'll want to do is drain the battery of the PS Vita, like for every other device. So drain the battery, 
to 0%, which will not only lengthen the battery life, but also make the battery level more accurate. Because like from time to time, the meter will show the wrong amount. Like as for how the Nintendo Switch like showed the wrong percentage of battery, or people report that drop down to 1% very fast, but are able to use it for 3 hours at 1%. Because that could happen to the PS Vita as well. So drain it once every month. To extend the battery life of the PS Vita. And also don't do it too much, because doing it too much also length, also shortens the battery life. Because like this thing has like 500 charge cycles and it's going to go down by 20% after 500 charge cycles. So it's best to keep your PS Vita somewhere between 50 and 80% charge. Well, for this particular PS Vita because it's showing the percentage. For you guys it's going to be somewhere between half charged and 3 fourths charged on the PS Vita. With the battery icon that's all green with only a part of green being taken out. And, and now for the tip of the day, you might have noticed that I have the battery percentage of the PS Vita. And I can see you're probably typing in the comments right now, Hey SMO27, how'd you get battery percentage in your PS Vita? Well, this plugin is called Shellbat. Well, this plugin that I got to show the battery percentage of the Vita is called Shellbat. So what you'll do is that you will search for Shellbat. I'm also going to have the link in the description so you can download that. And there's Shellbat. You'll click on Releases. And the latest release is Release 8, which is supported for Vita OS 3.68. Now this is currently Vita OS 3.68. So you'll want to download source code which is zip, which I downloaded. And then after that, plug in your PS Vita. Into the computer. And then what you'll do is launch Vita Shell from here. And then press select. And then once it says USB connected, just gonna show you in a moment. Once it says USB connected, you'll see all of this. And obviously you're gonna, once a folder is downloaded, you'll move this to your PS Vita. That one that I'm pointing to. Vita-shellbat-r8. Dock at that screenshot. Now, as you can see from this screenshot, it's showing the percentage of the battery according to the screenshot, like you saw it a moment ago. And what you will do next is I'll press the O button, and then you can now disconnect your cable. And then, next thing you'll want to do is press start, scroll down to reboot, and you'll see in a moment that the percentage will go away. Now this is completely normal, don't panic. Okay, and you'll see that the percentage is not there once you once you restart it you'll see that's at a half battery you'll want to tap h encore trophies cannot be earned in this application and then you'll scroll down to install henkaku and then and then it's going to highlight to exit and press x and you'll see the percentage pop up 
and you'll see right here that's now written as a percentage, so you can tell exactly how much you got left. Now, seeing a, now if you see a full battery icon, the percentage will show at least 70%, which is exactly why it takes a long time for the electricity icon to go away once the battery icon shows full, which sends a lot of people into a panic because they think they're overcharging it. But back to the point. If it shows a full battery, but part of the green is taken out, it means that it's going to show 55 to 69 percent. If it's at half battery like it is right now, the percentage will show 35 to 54. It's showing 44 percent, so it's within that range. If you see a low battery icon, like a, like a part of green taking a quarter of the battery icon, you're going to see 19 to 34 percent. And finally, if the battery icon shows up as red and you get the battery level as low prompt to the left of the screen, the percentage will show at most 18 percent. A lot of times you'll almost never see it at 1 percent. And, and you might see either 10 percent or 5 percent before it switches to the battery icon with a slash through it instead. So thank you so much for watching this and keep liking, commenting, and subscribing.